Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you that how can you actually insert an image with data from form with PHP into your MySQL database. So it is going to be a small and an informative video that you all are going to be liking. So if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification bell. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video and let's see that how can we actually upload an image into our MySQL database with PHP. Alright guys, as you can see over here, let me start my VS Code editor and let me open my browser. Over here, I do have a database created with the name of photos in which I have a table named as images in which I have image first name, last name and a creator. So here is my actual project in which I have created a form in which we are having three inputs, first name, last name, creator and a input for uploading the file and a upload button. Okay. So here is my source code. The source code will be provided in the description below. So you can directly download it from the GitHub repository and you can use it and you are free to make changes. So over here, I will explain you my code because we don't want to waste our time for designing the form. We need to have a form with the action attribute to the main file in which we are going to be writing our PHP code. That is our index.php. We are going to be using the method of post because we need to upload the data and we are going to be using this encryption type that is going to be the multi-part form data. This is a really important part of this video because what we need is we need to upload an image so for getting the image from our form we need to have an encryption type of multi-part form data all right and we are having our input and for each input you need to have a each specific special name like for my first name i have its name first name for last name i have its own name as you can see over here and for our image input we have its name that is named as image and once the user clicks on the upload button, what we actually need to do is we need to call a function. So for that, I have provided a name to it that is called upload to our upload button. So now let's start working with PHP. So as you can see over here, I have connected my database with my PHP. As you can see over here, we have simply used a single line of code to connect to our database. I have created an empty variable of message. Just ignore it. It is just for telling that whether the image is uploaded successfully or not. And now what I'm doing over here is that I'm using an if loop over here. If is set when this button is clicked means when our upload button is clicked, the name of the button that is upload. I just got it over here. When it is clicked, we are going to be using the post over here because we need to upload the data. So now it's the main part over here that we need to write a code to upload the data into our database and the most important thing for this video is going to be that we will be even showing you that how can you actually up get the data from the database I mean to see get the image from the database and display it in your front end all right so first we are going to be doing in this if loop is that we are going to be creating a variable for an image first we need to get our image so for that we are going to be using dollar underscore files and the name of our image input so that is image and now what we need is we need the name of the image so we're going to get an image simple now what we need is we need to get all of the text inputs so for that we are going to be creating a variable of like for first name we are going to create a variable of first name and we are going to be using the mysql i underscore real escape string method over here and we are going to be connecting to a database so our database connection variable is db and now what we need is we need to get that data for that we're going to be using the post method and the name of our input that is first name. So same thing I will be doing with our last name and a creator. So I will fast forward this video to save our time. All right, guys. So now we are getting our image and our all of our input data from our form. 
so what now what we need is we need to upload the image that the user has selected to the images directory so as you can see i have created a images directory over here to get this directory i'm going to create a simple variable over here i will just target this folder that i want the image to be uploaded in this directory so for doing that we are going to be using the double quotes and now the directory path images so for entering inside the images directory we are going to be having a forward slash after that we are going to be using the base name method and in this we are going to be calling our image variable that we have created over here to get our image from our form all right guys so now we need a sql query to actually insert all of our data into our database so for that i will create a variable of sql and i will write the query insert into my database name oh sorry my table name that is images and now i will call all of my columns first we have an image then we have a first name then we have a last name and then we have a creator these are all of my table names now we need to insert the values in this table so for that we are going to be using the values method over here and in between the single quotes we are going to be calling our image variable simple right same thing we are going to be doing with our first name last name and creator we are going to be adding a comma single quotes dollar first underscore name all right guys so our sql query is written right now so now we need to actually run this query for doing that we are going to be using the mysqli underscore query method over here in which we are going to be connecting to our database and we are going to be running this query so we'll call it dollar sql the variable in which we have stored our query and now we are going to be having an if and else loop to move the actual uploaded image to our directory so this is the main thing that you need to know over here so don't skip the video otherwise you are going to be commenting down that this part is not working so actually just see the whole video and then write it and if it is not working then let me know i'll surely reply you so in if loop we are going to be calling the my sql i no sorry we are going to be calling the move uploaded file method over here and sorry and we are going to be having else over here so if the form data is submitted we are going to be calling this move uploaded file to move the actual image into a directory so for that we are going to be using dollar underscore files in this method and what we need is we need the same thing that we have done over here dollar image and dollar name so we are going to be pasting it in between this files so over here we don't need a name we need a temporary name actually over here so we are going to be writing a temporary name and now the target the actual directory in which we need to actually store our images so after adding a comma after our square brackets is ended we need to add a comma and then the target variable that we have created over here which is including the path of our directory it's that simple then i'm going to be selecting my message variable and i will show the user that the image is uploaded simple and i will end it with a semicolon same thing i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it in our else part over here i will say that image is not uploaded image not uploaded simple that's it guys so we have set over here so now let's see whether it is working fine or not so let's open our browser boom and now what we are actually going to do over here is that we are going to be coming to our database we are going to be refreshing our database as you can see we are not having any data and in our vs code editor in our images directory we are not having any images right so let's come to our browser let's come to our project let's give it a good refresh and now let's enter a dummy data for now let's enter a name of like uh first name i'm going to enter first name simple first and last name as last okay and the creator i will enter as content creator and now i will be uploading a file so let me browse an image i'm going to go with this image so i'm selecting i'm selecting it and i'm clicking on open and now i'm going to click on the upload button once i do that as you can see all of the data inside my form is refreshed 
so if i come to my database and if i refresh it as you can see the data is inserted successfully with the image name first name last name and a creator name so if i come to my code editor and if i see as you can see the image is successfully inserted inside the images directory that is amazing so all right guys how this is how you can actually upload the image with a form data into your mysql database but now if you want to get the image from the database and display it in your front end what we are actually going to do so for doing that you need to come outside of this if loop and you need to create a variable of result because we need to get the result from our database so over here we are going to run a mysql query and that query is going to be first of all we need to connect to a database and then we need to select all of the data that is there inside our images table in our database so for that we are going to be select using a sql query that is going to be select star means select all data from your table name that is images that's it guys that's all what you actually need to do for getting your data that is there inside your images table and store it in a result variable all right guys so now for displaying it in front end we are going to be coming over here in this div which is a div for displaying all of the data from front end from our database so we are going to be running a while loop over here because we need to display all of the data one by one right so for doing that we're going to be using our php code so php syntax start and end tag and let's use a while loop we are going to create a variable inside this while loop that is going to be dollar row and now it is going to be a data that we are going to be fetching it as an array so we are going to be using mysql i underscore fetch underscore array method over here and in this method i'm going to call my result variable which is including my all of the data so now here is the part that how we actually want our data to be displayed so for that we are going to be using echo to print it and display it in front end and you're going to be using double quotes over here so first of all i am going to be creating a figure and i will create a class of this this is just for styling it all right guys so so i'm going to give it a class of snip that i have styled snip triple one three and it is going to be blue hover class and we are going to be closing it now i need to end this figure tag so for that i'm going to be using echo simple so for an example what i'm going to do over here is that i will show the image so for showing the image i'm going to be using the echo double quotes in which i'm going to be using calling my image tag over here and this image tag is going to be having a source in source we are going to be using single quotes because we are already in double quotes and then we will be specifying our path from where we actually need to get the image so that is our images directory forward slash all right and then what we need over here is that after the forward slash we are going to be ending our image after that we are going to be using the concatenate that means dot dollar row that means we are selecting our data and in our row variable right when we are using a while loop so we are going to get our dollar row variable square brackets and the table name not the table name, the column name in which our image is stored, that is image. Simple concatenate operator, double quotes, single quotes, end it. Semicolon. All right, guys. So here we are facing some issue over here. So let's see what is that issue. Images dot dollar row square bracket single quotes image concatenate. And over here we need to end it with double quotes. All right. So that was my mistake that I've done. Let me open my project and let me refresh it. All right, guys. So as you can see, the image is being fetched from the database. That's great. So now let's fetch the data. That means the text. So for that, also we need to do the same thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a tag over here, a div. So for displaying the div, we need to use echo statement as a PHP to print it into our front end. So echo caption 
and I'm going to be ending it out over here. Over here, I didn't close it. So now let me align it to look more better. And now we are going to be using echo H3 tag. Okay. And now to display it, we're going to be using the dot as a concatenate operator. We are going to select our data in a variable and the table name, sorry, column name, first name. Okay. Dot. Then to display our last name, we're going to be creating a span tag which is going to be having some stylings that is going to be margin from left side of five pixel. Okay, that's great. And now we need to display the last name. So dot dollar row column name, last name dot. Let's close our span tag concatenate. And now let's close our H3 tag. Great, that's fine. Now we need to display the creator name. So it is also going to be same. So I'm going to copy this code right over here and I'm going to paste it over here and I'll change the tag name from H3 to H4 and over here I will name creator, right? Yeah, the column name is creator. And now I'm going to be closing my H4 tag. All right, guys, that's it. We are all set. Let's open our browser and let's refresh it. One, two, three. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're getting our first name, last name and a content creator named as over here. So let me enter one more data. Let me name it as Aisha. Let's go with after. Let's give it a content creator name. Then let's go with like a uh, video editor. And now let's upload the image. So I'm having an image over here. I'm going to be clicking on open and now let's click on upload. Once I upload the image, as you can see, it is uploaded in my database. Once I refresh, as you can see, the image is uploaded, right? If I come to my code editor, as you can see, the image is uploaded in my images directory. And if I open my front end, as you can see, the image and the data is being fetched from the database and displaying it in me in front end. So as you can see, it is was a short informative video in which you have learned how can you actually upload the image into MySQL database with form in PHP and how can you actually fetch it? So these are two different parts. The timeline will be provided in the description below. You can skip if you want to learn how can you actually upload or how can you actually fetch the data and the image from database and display it in front end. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification bell for a more amazing videos like this. So next video is going to be on how can you set your Kali Linux distribution for PHP development? As you can see right now, I am doing coding in my Kali Linux distribution, which is in, as a virtual box, I'm using it. So if you want to learn how can you use Kali Linux as a development purpose, so do subscribe to my channel and comment down below. So I will upload the video as soon as possible. All right, guys. Thank you. And I will see you in the next amazing video till then. Peace.